Hi, welcome to another Holistic 3D tutorial. This tutorial is looking at Unity's new ECS and DOTS system, but it's gonna be a really quick fly through it. I'll try to explain as much as I can as I go along. These tutorials have been inspired by my course that I've just released on the ECS system and DOTS, which goes into it a lot more. But what we're going to find in here is we're going to have a look at creating entities, lots of them. We're going to use the new ECS physics as well. Um, and we're going to start shooting these virus molecules with hand sanitizer and have them explode into white blood cells, which will all be entity based, which means that you can have lots of them flying around on the screen. Now, to begin with, you'll need the starter file for this particular tutorial, which is on the Holistic 3D website, which is at holistic3d.com forward slash resources. So grab that ECS virus starter unity package. You're going to need to use Unity 2019.3.8. It's very important if you want things to work in what you're doing as you follow along with me to be exactly the same, that we use the same versions. And that's also going to apply to the packages that we're about to add. Now, note all of these packages, the ECS uh, in Unity is all in preview. So it's rapidly changing. And I've been watching it since pretty much the start. It's starting to, I think, settle down into something that's really quite um, easy to use and better for sort of beginners, I guess, who want to get into this area. So let's get started by opening up the version of Unity 2019.3.8 and then bring your package in. We're going to now go to Window and go to the package manager and add the necessary packages. So we're going to add in this order, hybrid renderer 0.4.1, physics 0.3.1 and entities 0.6.0. Now, after you've added the physics, you're gonna find that there's errors and you'll have to go and roll back the entities package that automatically gets added when you put in the hybrid renderer. So we go up to advanced in this packages. This is if you haven't done it before and type in hybrid renderer. Then you're looking for the show preview packages at this time and you're going to find it. Now, when I'm making this video, this is the latest and greatest version 0.4.1. Now it has a lot of dependencies that you're going to to get installed automatically with it. So you don't have to worry about which versions of everything else that you get. Now, if you don't see 0.4.1 when you're doing this, so that they've updated it, you can click over on the side and go see all versions and then find the actual one that I'm using in this list to add it. So let's add that first. Okay, so once that's done, you want to add the physics. Now we're looking for what's called Unity Physics because there's a few other physics packages around. Now this is 0.3.1, again, the latest version when I'm making this. So install that. And once that's happened, you're going to get errors. And if you go down to the console, you'll see the errors are in the entities package, uh, entities 0.9.0, which the hybrid renderer installed, which is fine if you want to use just the hybrid renderer and you don't want to do any physics. So the physics system is currently, I guess, it's a little little bit behind where the hybrid renderer is as far as development goes, but it's a lot further along than say like the animation system, which is quite underdeveloped at this point in time. Okay, so we need to roll back this entities and I'm gonna go back up into my package manager. I'm gonna look for the entities package. And as soon as you start looking for it, you'll see that there's this great big exclamation mark in red next to it. Now, when you get that with any of these packages that you install, the way to get over these big sort of red, you know, danger Will Robinson type things is to start rolling back through the versions. Now, I went through a few until I actually found one that it liked uh, and it was 0.6.0. So if you select that and then you click update, which is really sort of rolling back, then it will install that. It will get rid of 0.9 and then all of your 
errors will go away and we'll be ready to start coding. Right, that's done. So now if we go down into our console and click on clear, all of those errors have gone. And now we're ready to start. So if we have a bit of a look around at what we've got in that Unity package, if you open up the virus shooter scene, then you're going to find you've got a camera and a point light in there. And they're both sitting at exactly the same location, which is 000. So we'll create the whole scene around 000. The main camera itself, I've already put on it a mouse look script, which means that it's going to look around the scene when you move the mouse and there's a background audio source that will play. Okay, so there's you can test it now, I guess, if you want to press play and then just move the mouse around, you'll find that the camera actually does change and you can see it over my scene view there that it is now looking around the scene and you will hear the background music playing as well. Okay, so uh, the light, if we have a quick look at that, it's a point light, it's turned up really, really high just to so that you can see the molecules and that as they're going around in the scene. So let's start now creating uh, the actual entities that we're going to use. Now at this point, you can also see I've already got an error that's come up down in my console, even though I haven't done anything. And these things tend to just come up because of the preview packages that we're using. If you can clear them in the console, then don't worry about them, okay? So we haven't actually caused any. Right, so first of all, let's create this virus. So we've grabbed hold of the virus model that I've got and we can drag and drop that into the scene. Uh, now, my camera is actually on top of it, so I'll just move it out to where we can just see it. Not that that matters if you can't see it, but we can see it there in the scene. This is it. We're going to turn it into a physics entity. Now, to do that, we add some special components to it. So let me just close these ones up so that you can see what we're going to add. First of all, we're going to add a physics shape. So find that and add it. Now, the physics shape is basically kind of like a collider I guess um, is where you can set the actual shape of it now this is pretty much round so we're going to set it to a sphere collider instead and you can see over here in the scene if you have your gizmos turned on that you'll see the collider and it will fit itself pretty nicely around this model because I based it on a sphere when I created it the other settings, uh, you can change the radius of that collider, the center and all those sorts of things, but we're not going to do any of those. If you're going to have this object fall down and bounce, then the bounce is this restitution, which you've got set at zero. But if you were to set that up higher, your object would actually bounce. Now we're gonna collide with other things, I guess. So, you know, you probably could just turn that bounce up a little bit more. The other thing you need to set is in the, not the collision filter, in the advanced, we want it to raise collision events because we want to be able to shoot it with another physics ECS object and have it um, be destroyed. So make sure that you've got that selected there. Now the other one you need to add onto here with the physics shape is the physics body. And this is kind of like your uh, rigid body, I guess. And you've got settings for dynamic, kinematic, and static. Static, if you create a ground plane that you want to put into your system, then you would have it as static. In this case, it's going to be dynamic because we're going to have it bouncing and moving around in the physics system. Okay, so they're the only things that we need to add at this point. Now, at the top here, you're gonna get this exclamation mark with a message. It says, the physics shape authoring component is meant for entity conversion, but blah, blah, blah. So uh, we're not going to convert it to an entity at this point, we're going to do it in code. So that's okay to ignore. So you've got your virus, you've done that. And then we get that and we're going to make a prefab out of it so that we can actually spawn heaps of them. So create an original prefab by dragging that into the assets folder. Then you can simply remove the virus from the scene. Okay, we need to go through the same process with our droplet. So this is our droplet model that's going to be what we 
basically squirt at the particles okay so it's going to be our sort of uh, bullets I guess in this case so again let's do that we want to add our physics body and in this case it is going to definitely be dynamic so we don't need to change anything there and we're going to go to physics shape and change it to I'm going to make it into a capsule rather than a box so that it fits a little bit more neatly around it if you come and have a look in here in the scene view you can see that it is better there one thing I did forget with the physics body is that we're not using gravity in this case so in the gravity factor you actually want to set that to zero and we'll need to go back and do that for our virus as well uh, the physics shape now it doesn't matter if this bounces or not um, it's going to be destroyed but we want to click on rays collision events okay so that's our droplet we can now make a prefab of that and while I'm remembering I'll just click on my virus prefab and we will come back and turn that gravity factor in the physics body down to zero because we're going to have them floating around we don't want them falling the other thing we need now is our cells we need a red blood cell and a white blood cell so here's the cell and what I'm going to do is drag that into the scene and just move it out a little bit okay it too needs to have those same things added to it so it needs a physics shape and I'm going to just leave that as a square I guess it's probably going to fit well raise collision events uh, well we actually don't want it to we're not really concerned it's just in the scene it will still bump and do physics things it just won't raise an event in your code and so you don't need it in there sort of cluttering up everything um, and being processed for that and then let's also add our physics body and we'll set our gravity again for it to zero okay so that's our cell now we need two of those cells so just control D to duplicate it let's call one white blood cell and the other one red blood cell and of course we need to make materials to color those so let's just separate these out so we can see them and quickly create two materials so one that's red and let's color that red drag and drop that onto our red blood cell and then let's just duplicate that call it white make it white and drag and drop white onto our white cell and then we can drag both of those down and create original prefabs with them and then delete them out of the scene okay we're all ready to start coding now uh, I'll leave this video here when we come back in the next video we will start to spawn a whole bunch of the virus cells and get them moving around remember if you'd like to learn more about unity's dots and ECS then you can take my course that you'll find links to on my holistic3d.com website and if you subscribe as a patreon then you'll get access to it for free Thanks for watching. Please support the development of more superb online learning content by subscribing. And as always, visit holistic3d.com to learn more about awesome games development books and tutorials.